you starting off back with some single arm rolls, rows, rolls, rows, cable rows. Starting to love this exercise, especially starting with it. Get the back really nice and warm. So make sure you get full stretch, drive your elbow down, squeeze. Too heavy, full stack. Jump it about halfway, please. A bit of rear delts as well. Just uh, keep the arm up, keep the elbow up. Hey. Hey. Did two sets before we started filming, so we've done four sets total with a drop. So four sets to warm up, and now we're uh, four or five sets of lap pull downs. Again, focusing on form, form over weight while recovering. I'll go. Oh. 
You've got to try and remember is the more upright you are, the more you're going to target your lats, the more you lean back, the more it's going to target your mid back. It's a lat pull down, which is meant to target your lats. Which is the heavier you go, the more you're going to lean back. And it's not a bad thing because you're still working your back and you want to progressively overload the weight. You don't want to go too light when you're fully upright all the time. Because uh, essentially you'll be going, you'll probably be sticking too light for, for what you need to, to do. Just better to go heavier and lean back a little bit. Put a bit of extra stress on the stress on the muscle. It's important as well, even if you go heavy and you, you stop at four reps where you feel like you can't pull it down anymore, just get some partials in. Even if you come down a quarter of the way, it's still working your back. Obviously not to full range of motion, but it's still gonna uh, still gonna hit your back with a good amount of weight. I've got five reps and maybe some spotted ones as well. Spotted reps. Set, stick with the same weight and do a double drop. So I probably need to drop it. It's 80 at the moment. There you go, 80, 60, 40. Five, five and five. Three, two, three. Oh. Oh. Slowly. Mad grip is it fucking kills your forearms. Oh. Oh. After this set, we're going to do uh, seated rows on this machine. It's one of the best machines in this gym. Gonna do uh, go heavy from the offset. I prefer to do an underhand, but I'm gonna do this just so I feel like it targets my the area of my back that you want the rows to hit, which is your mid back. But as well, if you have your if you have your underhand, you can focus on driving your elbows down, which will target your lower lats. So you can hit the lower lats and the mid back. Obviously, when you row and you squeeze your shoulder blades back, that will impact the mid back. And we're gonna go uh, heavy from the offset, so I'm gonna do full stack. Maybe aim for five clean reps and then drop every every time. Two. Three. 
My first set of this didn't film, so I wanted to be talking just then. It was actually a second set. So we'll do one more set. Again, full stack and then drop it. And we'll do one more exercise after this and then biceps. Back's fucked already. It's important that you change up your training every once in a while. Don't stick to the same thing all the time. As soon as your body starts to plateau, change it up. That's why I like mixing heavy and light weights and mixing the uh, weight exercises I do. Usually I start with these, but doing these uh, mid um, workout, you feel a bit weaker, but it burns more. I feel weaker, but still doing the full stack, so. When I was PT and I used to do this with clients, they would just struggle to feel it. But um, the most important thing with this is you haven't got to go too heavy. So when you unrack it, stick your bum out, engage your lats first, squeeze, get your head neutral. As the bar comes down, you come up slightly and pull into your waist. Full stretch. And you don't want your elbows to change position, your arms roll. You gotta think of it like a scoop instead of a, like a pull down. You're scooping from the top position into your waist. And keep your elbows slightly bent, but keep that position through the whole movement, your arms. And your body kind of follows where your arm goes. So if your arms are up, your body's down. As you bring the bar down, your body comes up. No, other way around. So, as your arms are up, Body's down, squeeze as the bar comes down, the body comes up. Engage, squeeze. Oh. Finish off on biceps, the forceps, four sets of these straight bar curls. Oh, just a failure. Oh.
Apologies about the lighting. Fucking nothing works in this gym. Oh. Yeah. When you're doing cable curls with uh, any type of bar, start with the bar in front rather than to your waist. Pull up, pull, squeeze. Squeeze your little finger. Squeezing your little finger just gives you that extra little twist. Well, it's like it mimics a twist of your hands, so it's squeezing your, little squeezing your biceps. So it's kid bar in front, then your biceps fully stretched and elongated. So there's no doubt you get the full stretch. And if you can get that squeeze your little finger, squeeze your bicep, get your elbows, keep your elbows together, and you get full contraction as well. Nothing but gains. Yes, people, thank you so much for your support already with my videos and my channel. Gonna do a little bit of posing now and then uh, finish for the day. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you guys tomorrow for leg day.